Yeah, so good morning or good afternoon or good evening. So I hope that you are watching this after lesson one in video and then after our uh, G meet synchronous meeting. So we are going to continue. First, we are going to review what the rules or the instructions are per connective. And then we will be answering your uh, two stable assignment. Okay? So una sa lahat, we have our disjunction or the or operation. Sige, huwag niyo nang sauluhin kung ano yung pangalan for the meantime, no? Doon muna tayo sa disjunction. Okay? Again, just speed up the video or post the video whenever it's necessary kasi nanghanga pa din ako when it comes to the use of my gadget. Alright? Yan. Yan, sala agad, no? Sige. Uh... Una natin connective is the or connective P or Q. Pag sinabi natin or, at least any of the propositional values is true. So this is true if, if at least any is true. At least one is two. So, kayong bahala on how you would like to write that on your notes. Okay? Now, pagka meron tayong P and Q, remember this is the end connective, it is true only if both are true. Okay? Uh, again, this is open notes. Next, we have the negation or the not operator. Anong gagawin natin dito? We will just do the opposite, okay? Opposite, reverse, or baliktad. Sige, iba Tagalog nilagay eh. So, ito yung ginagawa ng iba, tinatagalog, no? We have the conditional. If P, then Q. If, then natin. Okay. So, this is false. Pagka nakita natin si PF in this particular order. Okay. Next is the biconditional, the two arrowheads. And ito yung if with the double F. And then it is true when they are the same. Okay. Uh, next, we have the exclusive or. Next, yung minatawag. Yeah. Okay, so we have the exclusive or or Q. Now this is true when they are different. Yeah, sorry nakatingin ako sa baba no. <laughs> Dito ako nakatingin sa sinusulat ko, yan. So kahit uh, nakatabi, mahirap pa din magsulat pala no. Yan. And then the last one, we have the shepherd's stroke or P up Q or the not end. Okay. So, ito yung kabalik para nung end. So, this is false if both are. Okay. So, let's leave this at this. Gawin natin tong kodigo because we will proceed to activity 4 to create a tools table on the following. Now, some of you might have messaged me, paano, paano po pagka letter R? Simply, pinaltan ko lang ang letter. Okay? So, let's try. Ayan. Wait lang, ha? Ayan, nangangapa si ma'am sa kanyang uh, ginagamit. Okay na? Alright. So, una sa lahat, I think we have 
P and so P or Q. Okay, number one is P or Q. Tapo, try to nang pasimam sa pagkamit nito ah. Again, number one is P or Q. So we have two propositions, P and Q here. Okay? So gawa na tayo na two stable for P and for Q. Again, two propositions, so two raised to two, four. We have two, two, true, false, false, true, and then we have false, false. Okay? And ano ulit yung rule natin for or? Pag sinabi natin or, dapat yan ay at least n is true. At least any of them is true. Pagaya nito, ito, at saka nito. Okay? So our answer here should be uh, true, 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 and then Okay. Now let's go to number two. Merong not P or not Q. Paano na to? Okay. So I hope that you were able to analyze how to do this. Okay. So unahin natin, kailangan natin ng P, kailangan natin ng Q. So, alam na naman natin, 2, 2, false, false, 2, false, true, false. Okay? And then, kailangan natin ng not P. Okay? So, hanapin muna natin ng not P. Okay? So, not P. Ipapalik na rin natin ito. Kasi nga, not P, di ba? So, we have false, false, true. So, okay. Now we need the not Q. So, ang irreversible natin, ang inindicate natin ay yung Q. So, false, true, false, true. Okay. So, now we have not P, we have not Q. Now we need the or. P or I'm oh, sorry, Sala no. Okay. Sala. Okay na ba? Ayan. So, yan na. Okay. Again, we need not P or not Q. Meron na tayong pareho nito. So, we can finally look for the two values of the following. Remember, or, ay, pag sinabing or, tingnan ulit natin. Sorry, uh, this is lagging, so kaya sabi ko, uh, speed this up if you want to. It's or if at least any is true. Ayan, diba? At least any is true. So, tingin natin to. At least any is true? Hindi. At least any is true? Oo. At least any is true? At least any is true. So, you should come up with this answer. Okay? Let's try number three. Yung number three, actually, it's very similar to number two. Pero sige, isa-isahin natin. Okay? Let's try number three dito. Number three is not P and not R. Yung iba na dito naman, paano ko pagka-R? Pinartan ko lang yung letter. 
Okay? So, it should be the same process pa din. First, we need B. And then, we need R. True, true, false, false. True, false, true, false. Okay? Now, we need the negate of B or we need not B. So, again, babalik na rin lang natin yan. Kagaya ng ginawa natin sa number 2. Okay? So, sige, balik na rin natin. The answer here should be false, true, uh, sorry, false, false, true, true. Okay? Pinaliktad lang to. Now, we also need not R. So, not R, babalik na rin lang natin itong values nito. So, this will be false, true, false, true. Okay? Similar na similar with number 2. But the only difference is the end operator. Not P and not R. Ano ulit ang rule natin or ano ulit ang instruction natin pagka end? Okay? Let's try to recall. Pag end, it is true if both are true. Hanap tayo ng both true. Okay? Ito lang naman, yung both true, ano? Itong panghuli. So, yan yung ating magiging true. And the rest, false. Okay? Alright, let's try number 4. Ayan, nabira na. Okay. Ayan, okay na. So, I guess I can move to the lower part. Sorry, naglalag. So, again, just speed this up. Okay. So, now let's go to number 4. Question in number 4 is not P. Uh, if not P, then Q. Okay. So, we have two propositions again. P at saka Q. Okay, alam na natin ito, no? Dinediretso na natin ito. Okay. Now, we need not P. So, babalik na rin lang natin. Ininegate lang natin ito. Ininegate lang natin ito. So, we have false, false, True, true. Okay? May kilang ba tayong gawin sa Q? Wala naman, no? Kasi it's still the same. So, we already have not P and Q. Sige, sulit na din natin dito ang Q para hindi nakakaluto. So, now we can do the if not P then Q. Ano ulit ang rule sa uh, if then? Tingnan natin. Ang rule natin sa if then, kung tandaan nyo si Twisted Fate, okay. ang rule natin dyan ay it is false if the first is true, the second is false. Okay, tingnan natin to. Maghanap tayo ng PF in this particular order. Not P, Q. PF, PF. Ito lang ang PF. Ito lang ang false. And sabi, the rest are true. Sana naintindihan. Okay? Next, we will go to number 5. For number 5, we have, oh, meron na tayong parenthesis. So, meron tayong kailangan unahin. Okay? So, parenthesis, P or Q and R. Three propositions this time.
Panahin nga muna natin itong mga nasa parenthesis. Okay. But first, let's put the two uh, the, uh, possible combinations para sa kanila. Okay? Now, since this is a three uh, propositions, this would be two, two, true, true, false, 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 false. Remember, we would be having eight combinations kasi sabi sa formula, two raised to n. Okay? Now, alternate, two, true, false, false, true, true, false, false. For R, yan na yung halinhinan. True, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. I hope you're getting this because uh, ito yung common na pagkakamali ng mga gumagawa ng truth table. Okay? Hindi po kit letter P, letter P ay true, true, false, false. Because you can use any letter. Okay? Now, dito muna tayo. Ito muna ang ating unahin. Itong P or Q. Hindi ko nababalikan yung slide, but we all remember probably that P or Q means at least may isang true. Okay. At least may isang true. No, may isang true. Ang dalawa sa dulo, wala. So, sila yung false. Okay. Now, meron na tayo nitong nasa loob ng parenthesis. Now, we can go to the next part already. P or, Q, P or Q and R. Ito yung ating P or Q. Ito yung ating R. If you want, you can put R here para hindi kayo nalilito. But if you think you can, okay lang. Ang rule naman natin sa end, they should be both true. Both true. Ano pa ba? Ito pa. Uh, this is also both true. Ito din. And wala na. Yun lang yung true. And the rest are false. Okay. Uh, so we can go to number six. If you think you're getting it, if you think you got a mistake in the rest of the numbers, okay, and you still wish to change it, okay lang. Again, this is an activity. This is for you to apply what you have learned. Okay. Let's go to number six. I'm using this kasi napakahilap magsulat sa uh, PowerPoint using a mouse, no? So, dito na tayo sa number 6. Number 6 is R if and only if P and R. Okay. So, how many propositions do we have? Or how many distinct distinct letters do we have? We only have two. That is P saka R. Okay. Oopsie. Kahit uh, nakatablet, may hirap pa din magsulat. Lalo na kung hindi ka talaga pantay magsulat. No? Yan. Okay, I hope that looks better. Since there are just two propositions, apat lang yan. No matter how many times you use this letter. Okay? So, four lang ang kailangan natin. True, true, false, false. So, R, true, false, true, false. Okay? Now, we can look for Ito munang nasa parenthesis kasi di ba sabi natin, unahin yun nasa parenthesis. P and R. Ang rule natin sa P and R, both true. Okay? Ito lang naman yung both true. So the rest are false. 
Yes, meron na tayo nito. Meron na din naman tayong R. Ito yun. So, I guess we can go straight to it. R. If and only if. P and R. Ayan. Ano ang rule natin sa if and only if? Ako, babalikan ko kasi hindi ko tanda. So, okay lang yan. Uh, na natin ulit ha. Pagka if and only if, it is true if it is the same. Okay? It's true if it's the same. So, balikan natin itong ginagawa natin. Okay, sorry ha, naglalag. Again, uh, okay lang sa akin if you would speed up the video kahit magtunog chip mang ka ko dyan, okay lang sa akin. Okay? If uh, you would better understand it na, you know, mas mabilis ang speed. There's just something wrong with uh, my gadget right now. Yan. So, sana okay na? Okay, going back. Ang rule natin sa if and only if, pagka pareho sila. Okay? Parehong true or parehong false. Ito ang i-compare natin. R. Ah, itong nasa parenthesis. Tingnan natin kung alin dyan yung parehong true. Okay? Let me erase this first. And ayon dyan. Ayan. Okay na. Ang titingnan again natin is itong column 2 and column 3. Parehong true. Ayan. Parehong false. Ano pa? Ito din. Parehong false. So, yung naiwan, yung magkaiba, ay false. Okay? Now, let's try number 7. Sorry na baka bagal nitong tablet na gamit ko. But uh, I think it would uh, be slower if I use a mouse. Yan. Sige, number 7 na tayo. Last number na pala to, no? Whew. Okay. So our number 7 is not P, XOR, R. So again, we've got two propositions. We have P. We have R. So we have true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. Okay, now first we need the not R, the negate of R. Lagay natin dyan. Ang negate of R, babalik ka rin lang natin, ito. So false, false, true, true. Okay? Now, we can do negate of P, X, or R. Kasi meron tayo nito. Meron na tayo nito. Ano ang rule sa X, or? Sige, I'll try. I'll let you browse your notes because uh, my gadget is going down. The exclusive or says, this is true if they are different. Okay, yan. Ka magkaiba. Hanap tayo dito ng magkaiba. Anong titingnan natin? Itong not P R. Tingnan natin kung magkaiba. Magkaiba? Yes. Magkaiba? Hindi. Magkaiba? Hindi. Magkaiba? Yes. Okay? So, that's it. I, I hope that you were able to understand. Now, after this one, I guess you may try redoing your work para mas maintindihan kung paano natin ginawa ang process. Okay, so let's try to continue our lesson. Okay, I'll change uh, and mag-share screen naman yung isa kong account, no? So 
take a breather <laughs> because it's another too stable coming. Okay. So this one, this is a simpler too stable. Okay. So this truth table, e is some proposition. It's only p. Diba? So ang choices mo dito ay true or false lang. Okay na, meron na ito. Next, we want a not p. Okay. Not p, remember, Opposite. Kabalik na lang. Since we have these two, we can find P or not P. Ang rule natin sa or ay basta may isang true. Maalin may true. Okay? So maalin sa kanila may true. Maalin may true. So what do you notice? We have both true. This statement, okay, this uh, compound proposition is always true. We call it a tautology. The other sections, I discussed this already. Okay, so other sections, hindi ba? Okay. Uh, let's have an example. Ang proposition ko ay, I am a girl. I am a girl or... I am not a girl. This sentence is true. It's always true. In Tagalog, babae ako o hindi ako babae. Yun lang naman yun eh. Kaya nga, or. Okay, let's have number two. Okay, ganun din. But this time, we have the end operator. One proposition. True, false. Hanapin ang negation. Not P. Kabalik taran. False, true. Now, hanapin ang P and not P. If you remember, and means pareho dapat true. Meron ba sa kanilang parehong true? So, wala. Dahil wala, False. Now, this uh, compound proposition is always false. This is called a contradiction. Okay. For example, so for example, sabi niyo sa I, I love you. I love you. And I don't love you. Pwede ba yun? Is that possible? Mahal kita at hindi kita mahal. No, that's not possible. That is what we call a contradiction. Pwede ba? 18 years old ako at hindi ako 18 years old. Tao ako at hindi ako tao. Teacher ako at hindi ako teacher. So that is uh, confusing. That's very wrong. Okay? So let's try number three. Same thing. E is ang proposition. P. So we have true, false. And now we have not P. Negate, babalik ka rin lang. So now we can have if P, then not P. Remember, sa if then, sinasabi PF, di ba? It's a false pagka PF in that particular order. PF. This is false. PF ba to? Hindi. So this is true. Okay? So since this is not always true, this is not always false, depende. It's what we call contingency. So you might be hearing these words uh, in logic uh, puzzles, right? in some arguments and other sentences. 
Okay? Yeah. So I know this is a little new and a little confusing. All right. Now let's have another one. Can I activity tayo sa video na to? Okay. Uh, I think I did not discuss this with the other sections. No? So I'll be showing this again. Now, this is what we will be doing. So, the so latter part of our class, so before finals, we would be encountering these symbols, okay? Input, output. And if you would look at the description, they are using 1 and 0. Okay? So, again, if you want to use 1 and 0, okay lang. If you want to use true or false, it's okay. Yeah. Now, let's take a look at this one. So, formulas P and Q are logically equivalent if and only if the truth conditions of P are the same as of Q. Okay? So, dito ang ginamit ko lang ay 1 and 0. But if, okay, let's say for example, gawa kang truth table, tapos ito ang lumabas. Okay? Let's say you did some things, etc., etc. Ang lumabas ay true, false. Dito ang lumabas ay true, false. Pareho ah. Pareho yung arrange niya. Two for two. Then they are logically equivalent. Okay? And the symbol for logically equivalent is the double-headed arrow na may double line. Okay? If I pause this video if you want to take note. Now, let's try activity 5. Let's determine if the propositions are logically equivalent through a truth table. So number one, is P and Q logically equivalent to not P or Q? So pause this video, uh, make your own truth table, meaning dalawang truth table ang gagawin mo. Isa para dito, at isa para dito. Or you can just combine it. Let's see what you'll do. Ako, I use just one truth table here. Okay, so I'll be revealing the answer now. Uh, we only have two, two propositions, P and Q. Okay, so this is true, true, false, false. No? And this one is true, false, true, false. Now, what is P and Q? Remember, P and Q, pag sinabing and, both true. Okay, ito lang naman yung both true, ano? So, let me use a different pen. Ito lang yung both true. So, this is true. The rest are false. Okay. Now, let's make this. Itong next part. I'll use a, a different pen para ma-differentiate natin. Unahin natin itong nasa parenthesis. Meron na tayong P. Meron na tayong Q. What is P or Q? When we say or, maalin sa kanila may two. Let's take a look. So ba maalin sa kanila may 2? Yes. Second? Yes. Third? Yes. Fourth? No. So false yan. Now we can proceed with the next one. Lagyan na natin ng negation. Okay? So not P or Q. Ine-negate lang natin ito. False, 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 true. Okay, again, what we are comparing are these two. So, it's on the long talk. Let's compare. Are they logically equivalent? Una pa lang, hindi na, no? Hindi na sa logically equivalent. So, automatically, it's a no. Okay? So, let me erase the uh, writings on this slide. Let's go with 
number two is not P and Q logically equivalent to not P or not Q. Tingnan natin. Okay? So, just like what we did earlier, let's make those tables for P and Q. Two, 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 adult. Two, two, false, false. Wait lang, let me change this, ha? Okay, ulit. True, true, false, false. And true, false, true, false. Okay. So, uunahin natin ay yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Okay. Ito muna. So, P and Q. Alam na, uh, again, we all know P and Q means and parehong true. Ito lang namang una ang parehong true. So, the rest are false. Now that we have this, we can negate it already. So, in-negate lang natin tong ginawa natin P and Q. Huh? Okay, let's try to negate this. Kabalik na ng true ay false. Kabalik na ng false ay true. Okay, yan. So, meron na tayo nito. Okay. Next. Okay, I know this is a long process, but uh, once you get it, it's fast. Meron pa yung P. So, hanapan lang natin ng not P. Nasaan ba yung P? Ito, ito yung P, di ba? So, inenegate lang natin itong column na ito. Yung true, true, false, false, babalik ka rin. In false, false, true, true. And now we have Q. Ito. So we can negate Q. Babalik ka rin lang ito. Okay. So true, false, true, false. Magiging false, true, false, true. Again, kabalik ka rin lang. We have this, we have this. Now we can do not P or not Q. Okay? Ito, not P or not Q. When you say or, maalin may two. Maalin ba may two? Wala. Yung pangalwa, meron. Pangatlo, meron. Ang huli, meron. Okay, so meron na tayo nito. So let's compare it. False, false. True, true. True, true. True, true. Now these uh, propositions are logically equivalent. Yeah. Okay? Now if you did not get it, I'll uh, message me so that I can send you extra references. But actually, if you search in YouTube, you would be able to find uh, a lot more uh, videos on tutorials on how to make truth tables. Okay? So, that's it for this lesson. Okay? So, get ready for the next meeting. The next meeting is on... Uh, more on sentences, no? Uh, last and yata next week. Last installment na next week for logic lessons. We will be having some laws, proving, and then quantification. Okay? So, good luck and I hope that you learned something. Please do extra effort and I hope that you really get this lesson. Okay? Patapos na tayo sa lesson to one more week. Alright, I'll be seeing you next time. Goodbye!